We are long past the time to guarantee health care in the United States. That's level one. Because when we get to a point where we're struggling to afford a meal or when we're struggling to, um, to, to feel economic security or material security, it's because all of these things are chipping away at us. It's healthcare, it's student loans, it's rent, it's the high cost of housing and the high cost of living um, and all of that. It's immigration status. And so all of this is systemic. And so I think when it comes down to the crisis, there's three major things we need to hit upon. One is wages and income. The other is, um, is health care, overall health care. And the third, I think here, at least in New York City, is housing. Um, those are three major things that we need to hit upon. Um, one, when it comes to health care, Everyone knows that I'm a strong proponent of Medicare for all because I believe that we need to guarantee health care in the United States. Um, the average family can incur anywhere up to $10,000 a year in health care expenses. And for our families, it's just not doable to pay $10,000 a year in insulin and all of this. And that's modest compared to what a lot of families have to deal with. Um, we need to address the housing crisis in New York City, and that goes for both renters and small mom and pop landlords uh, that we have here. Um, we are on the precipice of a housing crisis, and right now there's 30 million people that have just ex that have just gone um, on unemployment, or rather, not even gone on unemployment, have become unemployed. And a lot of people might say, "Oh, well, they're collecting unemployment; they should be, pay be able to pay the rent." There are so many people that have not been able to get through the unemployment lines, get a call back, get on the roll correctly, that this is actually becoming a systemic issue that is starting to destabilize our, sorry, starting to destabilize our, our housing market. So we need to get housing under control. We need to get health care under control. And, um, and of course, we need to make sure that we're having, and then we need to get wages and income on, um, under control. There are people that are, you know, there's some folks that are saying, oh, well, some people are making um, unemployment, more money on unemployment than they do going back to their job at this present point in time. Because remember, there's an emergency supplemental to help people get through in this moment. Um, this is not the normal circumstance with unemployment. But even so, um, even so, that supplemental is pegged to $15 an hour. 